seen a bit about you know Mechamon. They can compete against each other. You can go into different uh, into different game modes. We're also creating this this world, this whole world behind it with our own intellectual property, rather than using someone someone else's intellectual property. My name is Silas Silikonle, and the company that I'm the CEO of is Reach Robotics. But with Reach Robotics, we've gone as far as going from concept to actually taking the product to market. So, because what we're doing is combining robotics, gaming and augmented reality, so it's a physical product, think of it as a, as a platform and we're having to manufacture that, not just create the software. So we're manufacturing that already and users can now buy those products on retail. Robotics is um, it's certainly going to be the, f the future of, of technology, it's, uh, it's the manifestation of all of the software we've been developing and, and you can then use robotics to interact with the world around us. And in terms of a little bit more about robotics, um, you're looking at artificial intelligence coupled with advanced uh, microelectronics and mechanical engineering. That's what gives you things that can actually benefit human, human life. It wasn't easy to start up the, the company. I'd, I'd say the, the best way to go about starting up a company is to create a minimum viable product so you can get that idea across to people. After that, tell people about it so you can network and, and, and gain new knowledge. And then once you've done that, find people to support your vision and actually start putting, at that point, you then have a product and a team. And you can then go on and start to find customers, start to find investments. Three mistakes not to make when you're starting out in business. I'd say, first of all, is uh, people. Uh, people make or break your business. So make sure that you're careful who you bring on board your team, who you allow to be your investors. Second is really protect your, your intellectual property and make sure you have contracts in place. As the business starts to mature, more risk is being taken on. So make sure that anyone that works with your company, there's a contract in place. Because it might not be so important at the early stage when you're rushing, but if you take a step back to think about it, it might come back to bite you in the later stage. And then the, the, third, stage is to, the third point is to remember to have fun. You're going to be in this for a long haul. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So just remember to enjoy the work you're doing, the time you're spending with people, and don't forget the passionate reason why you started the company.